Hi everyone, I'm Cassandra. Today we're at the Jewish Museum in Sydney, Stylinghurst. I want to learn a bit about the Holocaust and what went on. Um, so the Holocaust is uh, the, the, the murder, the destruction of, of more than uh, six million Jews and other victims. And so what went on during like a concentration camp, for example? So there's a whole series of things we need to understand about the Holocaust. Mm -hmm. um, we have many Jews who were murdered in what we call open pit killings. Most of the people I asked about the subject were more than happy to share their knowledge with me. So, you grew up in Germany? I did, yeah. And were you taught about the Holocaust when you were at school? Yeah. So Jewish people living in Germany now, are they all treated the same as the German people? Or? Yeah, everyone equal. So, where was Hitler from? Not but he was not German. He was totally convinced of Germans and the German way of being, like blonde and blue eyes. Right. But he was not that way himself. Uh, he's quite short, dark haired, dark eyed. <laughs> okay. And he has this look. When he did it, everyone was supposed to do the same gesture. And okay. what goes with it is like Heil Hitler. I was also interested to meet some Jews living in Bondi today. So I'm in Bondi at the moment and I've just come across a shop called Jews for Jesus. So I thought I'd come in and see who I could find. So I found Eddie here. Now, Eddie, hey, how are you? Hi. So tell me a bit about yourself and your religion. Well, um, I'm Russian Jew, so my parents have come from the Ukraine, so. Okay. And um, yeah, I was born in Australia, and um, I've been brought up, you know, doing Jewish things, but I do believe in Jesus, so. Um, right. That's, that's, that's my religion, I guess. Eddie, tell me about the skull cap. The skull cap is just a cap that we wear to um, show our um, selves humbly before God and just covering ourselves, you know, before God. Okay. So is it kind of how you distinguish yourselves? Is... Yeah, so it is like an identity thing. So a lot of right. Jewish people that would wear these hats. And are you wearing one now? I am. I'm oh. Wearing them yet. Right. So tell me a bit about these cookbooks you've got in here. Yes, this is a collection of um, famous Jewish recipes that some of our staff have put together. So what's your favorite sort of Jewish meal? Oh, it's actually matzo ball soup. There you go. Ah, oh, right. Got the recipe right here. Hmm. So is it like dumplings and chicken soup? Or? That's right. So it's like dumplings and chicken broth. So this cake here, what's the name of that? It's a it's a talus. Yeah. Okay. And who would typically wear one of these? Our rabbis would um, usually wear one of those. Okay. And what are rabbis like? What? They're they're like they're teachers. And how do you find being a young Jew here in Australia? It, we have it a lot easier than other countries do, and yeah, I just... So you feel accepted? Yeah, yeah, I feel, definitely feel very accepted, yeah. Oh, great. Today we're speaking with Millie. She was two when her and her family arrived from Lithuania in 1939. How long did it take to get from Lithuania to Australia on the ship? Six weeks. So what do you think your parents chose to come to Australia? Well, I think they wanted to get away as far as possible from Europe. Things were not good there. Probably the hardest thing for them was learning the language. Mm. They didn't have money, or very little, uh, and without language it was very hard to get a job. Mm. So I've come across a kosher supermarket on Bondi Road in Bondi, and um, I've met Danny. The word kosher means fit. Okay. Um, that would mean fit for consumption. Combined meat. Right, we can't eat middle, meat and milk at the same time. Our meat um, is um, also slaughtered in a kosher way. So what are the sort of animals that you can't so eat? So when it comes to animals, there's um, split hooves and chews, uh, and that they chew their cuts. That's the general, you know, that's general rule. Okay, and that you can't eat? That we, that we can't eat. Okay, so what we can't can eat animals that don't do that. So would that be like goat or no goat can be can, but a horse, for example, we wouldn't be able to do. Okay, we wouldn't be able to eat. Um, birds, fowl, we eat most fat, like a lot of fowl. We do eat some. We don't eat any fowl that are um, that you know eat other animals. Can you have marshmallows? Yeah, we've got pushed marshmallows right here. Which pig is not kosher? So. Fish gelatin yeah. instead of using the hoof. Yeah, because we can't. Yeah, because we can't. Do that. What do you know about the Holocaust? I know quite a bit. It's probably the greatest calamity that ever befell a Jewish 
Jewish people. It was a time when a huge percentage of the Jewish people were simply wiped out. Right. We just lost a huge percentage. I think it might have been a third of the of the world Jewish population. You should try to think of that as a take any society, any group in society, and you know. Mm. And there's many, there are many other groups or many other um, nations that have had huge, um, you know, genocides and stuff like that. Mm. And it's something that we as Jews can definitely, you know, kind of um, recognize and, yeah. and see because understand because it's something that we. I mean, there's, you still have people alive today. The Holocaust wasn't that long ago. I mean, we know it was the previous century, but it wasn't that long ago. I mean, you still have survivors living yeah. now. I think being a Jew here in Australia is a great gift. I was happy to see that these people are willing to embrace their culture and religion and not be afraid about how society might react to them.